Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Palm Beaches Paul, your local realtor and guide to the Palm Beaches, and welcome back to another live stream. I'm having fun with this. Hopefully uh, this one will work out. I've been having some issues with my um, Prism software where it seems to be cutting off the end of the video where I tell you guys subscribe and all that stuff. Sort of the end of the videos have been cutting off. It's not me. For some reason the software is doing it. I'm not sure why, but I've put a request into them to find out. But uh, so today we're going to do a walking tour of Lake Worth Beach, uh, downtown Lake Worth. Now Lake Worth is a pretty big city in general, and it goes all the way out west. I actually live in Lake Worth, all the way out by the Turnpike. So um, it's a pretty large uh, town. But this little section we're in is called Lake Worth Beach. They changed that name a couple years ago. And it's the downtown Lake Worth. So this is where all the shops are. I got myself a nice coffee from uh, Common Grounds, one of my favorite coffee shops here in Lake Worth. And um, so we're gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you, uh, it's kind of a quirky sort of Key West kind of vibe, really artistic, um, you know, lots of, a lot of art and people here in Lake Worth. Um, it's kind of just has that old Florida look. And uh, what's kind of cool about it, they did like their street painting festival. If you watch my video, I did that. It's about, uh, they take all this area and they block it off and have these uh, artists with chalk do uh, murals and stuff, so it's really cool. So let me um, get, see if I can see if anyone's on real quick, and hopefully the signal's coming in. So, so far there's nobody on right now, um, but uh, hopefully the signal will work here. It worked yesterday, so, but let's uh, start a tour. So we're gonna, just gonna walk up and down the main road here, Ocean, maybe go off on some side streets a little bit and just show you some of the places. So let me get the camera off me. All right, there you go. So there's the coffee bar I was just at, which is kind of cool. And as you can see over in the background, see the mural over there on the wall, kind of neat. So this is J Street, I believe. So but we're gonna walk up one side and down the other side. So we'll go up the main Lake Avenue, not Ocean. It's, I always get that confused. It's Lake Avenue. So. A little bit warm today so excuse me while i drink this nice iced coffee and if you guys are leaving comments i'll try to get in the shade and read them look at this mural this one's really cool i like that one i think i do a video about the murals that are going on in south florida There's a lot of cool places with they're putting murals uh, around south florida i may mention that in one of my live streams that i was going to do a video about like the top five murals or my favorite five murals they have a bunch of them going from West Palm, actually all the way up to Jupiter, all the way down. So let's see if I can see if you guys are on. Hey, Paul, Anna, thanks for joining. All right, guys. All right, so every once in a while, I'll look at the screen in the shade so I can see you because as, you, as I said, I can't. And let's go. So this is a cute place. Lake Worth's kind of cool. Like I said, it's funky. We got some uh, Korean barbecue here, Asian cuisine. And there's some cool neighborhoods off here, like College Park is just to the north. It's a great neighborhood. Some old, really cool homes. Um, Flamingo, uh, not Flamingo, but uh, Parrot Cove. I put some, one of my clients in a property off Parrot Cove, which is down at the end of the street. Uh, a lot of these are older homes. Um, no HOA so you know the thing is you can have a cool house a nice house and then next door might be not so nice all right so that's Federal Highway guys that's south and that's looking west so this is Lake Road it goes all the way towards I-95 that way and then Lake Worth just continues all the way down but this is the downtown Lake Worth like I said they call it Lake Worth Beach this this area so all right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk down here I'm gonna head back start at the front and we're gonna walk down a ways it's a nice Tuesday and I'll point out some cool places there's some neat bars patio bars that are here as I mentioned I started the video off saying I went to uh, common grounds and I got myself a nice caramel ice latte Let's see, what is the average cost of a home in this town? Um, it's gone up like everything, Paul, but 
I mean, it can vary because like Parrot Cove that I mentioned, some of those homes are right along, not on the water. Some are on the water. So you can find million dollar homes over there. You can find three, maybe $300,000 homes over there. It just depends. And a lot of those homes are, they're gonna be older homes. Like I meant built like in the 1920s, 1930s, you know, on up and stuff. So, uh, this is a cool place to play with Rum Shack. I wonder if that's new. I thought that used to be a place called, I think that place used to be called IGOTS. I guess they changed. It might have gone out of business. Now it says, now it says Rum, Shack, Rum Shack. So, a little fact, you guys may not know, I was a drummer. And uh, for when I was in high school, I played the drums. And I was in bands and stuff. Afterwards, didn't make any money at it, right? So, but I had uh, some musicians. And I played a gig there one time. And it's funny, it's my wife and her girlfriend came down and wife was like you really don't play drums do you and she saw me she goes wow he does play the drums <laughs> so i told her i played the drums she just didn't believe me it's like a mexican restaurant over here there's an old theater so you see it kind of feels like like i said feels a little bit like key west let's see what some of the comments are on here uh, okay, so it's Paul and Anna. Gotcha. Well, thanks for the comment. So, I think we're going to see movies. A little movie house. Pretty cool. Looks a lot of places are still trying to recover from COVID. Well, what is the... It's Tuesday, so this is Tuesday through Thursday, 4 p.m. So they don't open until 4 p.m., Mario's. So there, there's some funky little places. Oh, there's I got, so I was wrong. That's where I played, right there. You guys can see it across. So that's a cool little bar. And uh, I played a gig over there. It's kind of cool inside. This is a neat Irish bridge. It's a cool little place. I had lunch here with one of my clients. And then you got Dave's Last Resort across there. That's been there for like a long time. That's always a fun little hangout. And another Irish pub across the street. So basically if you stay on this road and drive, east you'll cross over the big lake worth bridge then tricoastal and you'll go to um the uh they used to call it the casino it was never a casino but it's a they used to have, it's a swimming pool and uh there's some restaurants and it's the uh, lake worth pier uh, you can go out fishing on the pier or you can go just be a viewer so like a little bit more if you're fishing if you just want to watch things like a dollar or something Let's see, hold on one second. For some reason, someone's calling me. I gotta decline that. Are you close to A1A and the beach? Um, yeah, A1A's over the bridge, Nick. Hey, Nick, welcome back. Yeah, this is a cool building too. This old building here. It's that cultural council. It used to be a movie, I think it used to be a theater, movie theater at one time, I think. Or, or it's got definitely got a, a, a stage back in there. Pretty cool place. Yeah, no, there's um, A1A is up off the bridge, over the bridge, which we're not going to be able to make, but it's too far to walk all the way over the intracoastal there. And that goes up into uh, like Lake Worth uh, Pier up there, the Lake Worth thing I was just talking about. This is kind of cool. This mural. So I said, lots of neat art. The dog and the cat. I'm actually I remember taking a picture in front of that years ago. So. So 
so pause on the avenue a little pet store got some real estate store this place is really cool little french door went in there with my sister when she was down nature's way so you can see just neat little just kind of cute little stores all art gallery that's kind of neat there used to be a really good surf store down here and over on this side you got ice cream kava sutra you can see there's some apartments Let's see what's going on with questions. Hi, Patricia. Lagging? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was worried about that over here. Hopefully it'll pick up, guys. Stop for a second. Oh boy, everyone's dropped off. The lagging must be bad. Well, Just keep going and see if it fixes itself. There's Two J's. It's a great restaurant. They have a lot of them around town, around Palm Beach County. over here in a second it's old Lake Worth school This place is pretty neat. They have music out here. A lot of times they have events and they'll have bands playing right up here in this courtyard area. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm gonna set this camera down for a second so I gotta fix something real quick. Hold on one second, guys. All right. That's better. Let's see. Is it still lagging? Hopefully it's not. But I'm gonna go show you guys something cool over here. This is a library. These pretty trees are beautiful. Oh, they used to be able to, they put a fence around it, used to be able to walk right up to this. It's kind of neat. Maybe people were messing with it. It's a cool little thing for Martin Luther King world floating on there. He used to be able to walk right up to it, but this little fence around it's new. I guess people are being idiots and messing it up. So look at these trees, guys. Aren't these amazing? Look at this. These huge banyan trees are just beautiful here. So let me see. So Federal's down here. If I go a little further, then you could walk up to some of the different neighborhoods up and down the area. Like I said, there's a street called Palm Way. That's the one that my I helped my clients purchase a house over there about seven years ago. And it's 
pretty neat. But uh, so the road on the other side runs east and this road runs west. This is Lucerne. So I'm gonna go back over and walk towards, maybe down towards the park, a little bit towards the water. Head back over this way. Hey, still here, Paul. Nice stuff. Keep going. Oh, good. Appreciate it. And we're to hopefully it's not lagging too much. I'm trying. So, um, Lake Worth, uh, so like I said, Lake Worth's got some condos. Again, it's a big city, but downtown Lake Worth Beach, talking about this area. You know, you can find older homes for a decent price, but you're going to have to put some work into them. So that's the thing, you know, like cast iron pipes, you want to make sure, you know, stuff like that. And then you need to make sure the plumbing's in good order. Um, a lot of wood frame homes, stuff, but, but it's a cool place. And they have all sorts of festivals and stuff. Like I said, it's really sort of a, more of a Key West kind of vibe. There's a lot of artists and people here. So it's not like Del Rey, it's not as, you know, it's not fancy. It's a little more laid back. And you got all kinds of people. So, and, um, but they do have some nice, like, new condos you'll see down here. And, uh, obviously there are some, you know, homes that have been completely remodeled. Some of the homes here are some of my favorite in all of South Florida. Um, because I like the older homes that were built. And, uh, have that cool look to it. waiting for this light to change. There we go. Walk down here a little ways. Someone needs a new muffler. Oof, smell that exhaust. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna have to. Let me have to pause for a second here. I'm gonna see just something real quick. Bear with me. All right. Let's see. Sorry, I was trying to check a text on the phone. Um, <laughs> one of the things being a realtor, your job never stops. It's like when I think I have a little bit of time to go make a video, the phone starts ringing. So, give me one second, I apologize. 